Those who knew Tom Lucan regarded him as true to his instincts, authentic, passionate, alternately irascible and kind-hearted depending on the moment. There were many moments, especially at church festivals. Everybody around, you know, who wants a beer? And you know, 50 people would come over and everybody would be drinking beer on Tom Lucan in Shabbat cups. And it's like, whoa, you know, but that was the beauty of Tom. His funeral mass at St. Xavier Church honored a 92-year-old life of purpose. He marched at Selma, took on big tobacco, battled to get buses for the poor, demonstrably opposed capital punishment. Years after he, he was no longer in office, I know he'd go to Columbus for rallies uh, against the death penalty. He was a mentor and friend to a young John Cranley, the city's current mayor. Another former mayor spoke movingly about Lucan's commitment to basic human rights and smilingly about a quirky habit from his council days of decades ago. And every time one of the lights of the camera went on, Tom could be in the middle of a sentence, not talking to the cameras, just talking in a council meeting, he would take his glasses off. And then it, when the lights went off, they'd go back on. Someone else would turn on their light. He wasn't even conscious of doing that. Eight children, including Charlie, also a former mayor, 16 grandchildren, 17 great-grandchildren, a World War II Marine, lawyer, mayor, congressman, husband for 70 years, his wife Shirley telling Father John Seville no eulogy and keep it short, vintage Luca. There's no better uh, inspiration than someone who is fighting for his ideals. Tom Lucan really sought no limelight for some of the things he did, like reading to underprivileged school children. He was inside of him equal parts warrior and good heart. And were he still around, he'd love to argue that point with you. Reporting live, City Hall, John London, WWT News 5.